all right welcome back to the channel um what we're doing today is that i'm going to show you another way to connect your nikon d3300 to your obs studio right which you'll use for streaming or for live streaming and again remember the aim of this is to try to get the best quality image out of your dslr camera that you may already have um, lying around the house so <clears throat> the last time we spoke about using the digicam control which worked well um in the comments for that video a lot of people said it worked for them but that it kept stalling and it had some problems with some of the stuff that it was doing so i was hunting for a solution a friend of mine um came up with a solution actually that he uses on his camera for his streaming and it was this little device it's an elgato device right? some word it's an Elgato device it is the HD 60s so what I'm gonna do is show you guys how we get this all hooked up and show you how it works with the DSLR right so let's jump into the software side of it so one of the first thing I want to do is that I want to download the drivers for this particular card and I'll go to Elgato's website and this is the Elgato um, HD 60S version. Let me just show you guys the download list. So you notice that there's a <coughs> game capture there for deck for Windows, game capture for Windows, 3.7, that's the one I want. And there's a video capture for Windows, right? For me, ideally, this is the one I want, the version 3.7 download, game capture for Windows. So I'm gonna get that downloaded place it on my desktop and we'll have that downloaded right? so it's 178 megabytes in size um, give it a while to download <coughs> going pretty fast my internet connection here is um, pretty fast uh, recently upgraded to fiber to the Belize um, Telemedia Limited or well now it's called DigiNet right and so we're in DigiNet fibers network so it gives me about 80 megs download speed and about 40 megs upload speed, which is perfect for what I do. So after the software um, has been downloaded, the next step is to run the installation and have it installed to your computer before launching it in OBS. So again, next, uh, I will have it store my data. I leave the Elgato capture. I don't really needed to do that since I normally would capture um, sound from my camera itself. Um, in this case, what you're hearing is the sound capture, captured from the um, Galaxy S10 Plus. Um, when I'm not capturing sound from that, I'm normally doing it from direct from the laptop or from my um, Logitech HD webcam, which does have a good um, microphone built into it. So I'll get this installed and then we will show you the, I'll show you the setup that I have done on OBS and I'll also show you the setup that I have the connection that I have set to the computer right so catch it catch it back in a few that is going um, I just want to show you guys a, the setup and where I have it hooked up to my camera so there is a USB-C device there that provides us power so that USB and again the Elgato comes with a out section and a section labeled as in um, and I already have the HDMI wire connected and the USB-C now the USB-C device and installation is done let me finish this the USB-C device plugs into a USB cable um, and of course that is USB 3.0 right um, so just to mention that it must be plugged into USB 3.0 um, for this to work right so I'll plug this in to my USB port there and then from there the HDMI wire is linked out to my camera and again that's my Nikon D3300 so I already turned this on I'll put it on video make sure I'm focused in um, this is where the wire comes so 
the HDMI wire goes to a HDMI mini adapter and it's plugged into the HDMI port of my DSLR camera and so you can hear that installation going right now so I'll leave that like that and we'll come over and I want to show you guys the co configuration itself so finish right so that download is completed I have OBS open right now I'm not sure I think I'll have to restart it right but I want to show you guys let's see if I can add it in so it says add I want a video capture device we're calling it video capture 2 okay gives me the option of choosing I have my webcam plugged in right now and there is my Elgato Game Capture HD. So I'll click on that. So it says Game Capture needs to be connected to a USB 3.0 port to function properly. And I have it in a 3.0 port. So let me just make sure. Again, it is in a USB 3.0 port my camera let's make sure that it's on camera is on and now i'm thinking that hdmi is good and then that's okay i'll plug into this other port here which is USB 3.0 turn on my camera just waiting to see what it does double check the camera manual output fed I might need to restart this OBS just to make sure all right so here are the connectors again USB-C wire goes to the laptop plugged into USB 3.0 remember it has to be 3.0 um, that is plugged into the Elgato HD 60s uh, HDMI wire from the input what we got Elgato goes to the camera so I'm just gonna get OBS opened. Now remember the only thing here is that it must be USB 3.0 and I had to do a little bit of research. I had to go and make sure that my ports were USB 3.0. Um, to remember USB 3.0 opens up in um, USB 3.0 are the blue ports on your laptop or on your desktop. So my desktop didn't have USB 3.0, so it didn't work. But if I go to add source, add video capture device, I'm calling this my Elgato connection. Okay. And there it is. It is the, the option that I chose was the Elgato game capture let's see what happens so okay and so that's my camera that you're looking at there showing me on the screen right so if i'm so wave my hand in front of it so that's my dslr showing on the screen there let me try the other connection see what happens if i do capture video capture i call this video capture 2 and I'll choose the Elgato HD capture and OK and I'll turn this one off ah so there it goes so the game capture or the video capture itself works in terms of capturing the DSLR let me see if I can get some zoom improvement there from this DSLR
So there we go, let's show you the back of the screen. So that's my DSLR showing, um, my Nikon D33 showing on the device again using OBS Studio and the Elgato HD60S um, capture card, game capture card. There you have it. All right, so there you have it. We got the Elgato and, and the Nikon D3300 along with the desktop or laptop working with OBS Studio. So um, some of the problems I had just now while, while I did the installation, again, the steps were I downloaded the software off Elgato's website um, and I wanted the PC version since I'm working on PC. I connected the USB-C wire, which is the power for the Elgato, into the USB 3.0 on my device or on my PC. And then the HDMI wire went to the HDMI um, connector, the HDMI mini connector for my Nikon D3300. Um, and from there on, I opened OBS. I went into adding in a new device or a new video capture device and I chose the Elgato device which showed up in OBS um, which was great because the last time I used the Digicam control because I couldn't get any device show right? so the device now shows up in OBS I add that device and you're able to use your DSLR as a um, capture device so when I'm going live I'm, I'll, I should be able to use my DSLR now to go live on um, OBS stream or Streamlabs OBS and also to record my videos, I can also now use the DSLR. So this is another option apart from the Digicam control. It's a much easier option. It's a hardware option, right? And it works. So for all those people looking for this out there, I hope this helps. Um, remember to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so. I hope this video was helpful. If it was helpful, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Give it a try. Um, the price tag on the Elgato online is about 119 US dollars, right? Which is not too bad if you're into this whole video thing. So it's worth it. If it's worth it to you, go and go ahead and get it. If not, you can use your standard webcam to do your streaming and video recording, right? And again, I'm a strong believer that it doesn't really um there's no need for any particular type of expensive device to do recordings as long as the content is good, right? And the content is real. So like always guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go there and just geek yourself.